Hey guys, so I know it's been a couple weeks, but I just wanted to come on here. Sorry, I look horrible. I don't have any makeup on. I kind of just woke up, but I've just, I have been struggling a lot and I don't, I don't know like what is going on, but I'm just having a lot of like repressed memories coming up <sighs> about my friend moving away and I feel so stupid because it's like I've literally <laughs> it's been so long since she's moved she moved how many years it's like seven years ago and I'm still upset about it And I just remember like when I went to treatment and we were all talking about our stories about how um, our eating disorders like developed and stuff. And everybody was like, oh yeah, I've had like, you know, sexual abuse and physical mental abuse and like, you know, deaths in the family and like horrible things like that. And I'm just like, I just remember telling my story and I felt so stupid because my eating disorder developed because I was depressed from my friend moving away. And I just felt like that was just so insignificant and just silly. And then I just start thinking like, I just don't get it. Like, why did she move? Like, <laughs> like what would happen if she didn't move? You know, would I have an eating disorder? I don't know. Would I have depression? I don't know. Anxiety? I don't know. And I think about her all the time. Like, I think about her, like, every day. <laughs> I just miss her a lot. And, like, I'm not a cute crier, so I'm gonna try not to cry, but when she moved away, it was like we talked to each other still for a little bit, for about a year, and then she just started drifting away from me and stopped talking to me, and then she used to like visit Indiana, you know, a couple times a year, and then it was once a year, and then it was like she just stopped visiting. And I just don't get it. Like, she was my only friend at that time. And so it just really hurt when she moved. And I just always wonder, like, like why did she stop talking to me? Clearly I'm a horrible person. Just must have just not been a good enough friend for her. I don't know. I don't know what went wrong, but I just feel really crappy. And this weekend was hard. So it was Will's birthday on Friday and like, it was fun and all, but I just don't do well being around a lot of people all the time. Like I'm very introverted. And so it stresses me out to be around a lot of people and be out of my house. <laughs> like, I'm such a homebody and this is my safe place in my room. Like, this is where I like to stay and I don't like to go very far from my house other than work. So, what we did was Friday, we went to his house, Will's house, and we had dinner with his family and they made chicken salt and boca, which is what, re what Will really likes to get at this place called Buca de Beppo. And they decided they just wanted to cook it instead of go there. So they cooked it and we had Dairy Queen ice cream cake because I actually made it since I worked there. And we had ice cream cake. And then, I'm sorry, I just keep losing my train of thought. Um, okay, um, anyway, so Sunday was all right. And then Saturday, what did I do Saturday? Oh, Saturday, <laughs> my family wanted to celebrate his birthday, and so we went to Vucadvepo. 
and we got something else and we got these things called stuffed shells and they were really good and we got salad and we got garlic bread and we got tiramisu and I even got a glass of wine like a little sangria thing it's delicious by the way there's a lot of food though <laughs> like I felt really ugh so guilty and I got really bloated because the Italian sausage inside the stuffed shells they did not settle well with my stomach I have IBS and they did not settle well and I got super bloated and my stomach hurt so bad I felt like someone was stabbing me um, so I took some gas X and that helped a little bit and then what else um, so that's what we did Saturday for his birthday and then Sunday, we always go to church in the morning, so we went to church in the morning, me and Will, and then after that, we, I'm sorry, I keep losing my thoughts, what did we do, we went back to his house and had lunch, that's what we did, yeah, we had lunch, and we just had leftovers, and then I was gonna take him to this place called Newfields, and it just, it was like a pumpkin patch and they had like an art museum there it's twenty dollars a person and that was gonna be part of his birthday you know celebration stuff that i wanted to do for him just me and him so we went there and it was like the most boring thing i've ever done like definitely not worth twenty dollars a person literally all you did was walk around on trails and the sights were not that nice it was freezing cold also that like on sunday and there was only activities for like little kids. It was like, like cornhole and like painting pumpkins. And it, literally everybody there was like babies and like, like five year olds. Um, so it was just boring. And then of course you had to wear a mask and it just, I get the importance of wearing a mask and I agree with it, you know? It just is a bummer. And I can't wait till we don't have to wear them anymore because it just, it brings down the mood and it makes my anxiety go up so high, like we're having to wear them and just seeing everybody else wearing masks, it just makes me uncomfortable and my anxiety goes to the roof and then I just, yeah, this year is just crappy. But anyway, <sighs> um, so I started crying on our way um, back home from that place because I felt like I failed Will by taking us there because it was just boring and a waste of money and we didn't have fun and I just started crying because I felt like I failed and Will was like honey I had fun with you like it was still fun just to walk around with you and stuff but I just felt like what the heck I can't even get my my husband a good gift I should have done more research on the place. Like, I should have taken him somewhere else, you know? So I was crying and freaking out. And I have the tendency to go, like, all week where I have, like, I'm very numb. And I want to cry. Like, I feel like I should cry. And I want to. Like, something bad will happen and I'll be really sad about it. But I can't cry. I don't know. It's probably my antidepressants. But that usually happens and then something tiny like minuscule will happen and i'll just like blow up and have a like mental breakdown and that's pretty much what happened when we went to the pumpkin patch and when we were leaving i just had like a mental breakdown and i was just crying my eyes out like shaking and angry and i was just like angry at myself for taking us there i felt like an idiot i was like why did we go here like this was supposed to be for Will on his birthday, and I failed him. So I just felt like really crappy, and then he took me home, and my aunt and my cousins were at home, and they wanted to get pizza. And that is one of my big fear foods. But we had it, and I actually had it a couple weeks ago too. Had pizza, so I've had pizza twice in like three weeks actually less than three weeks so that's really good for me but um yeah so i got we got papa john's pizza and i ate my slice of pizza and then tried not to feel guilty which of course was really hard and what else did we do 
can't think today, guys. I can't think. And then this morning, I made a mistake. I did something really stupid. I weighed myself. Not a good idea. I'm only supposed to do that once a week for my dietitian's sake. And it's only been like four days. And then I did it again this morning. And I saw that my weight went up. And immediately I started freaking out because I was like, well, it had to be the tiramisu. It had to be the ice cream cake. It had to be the Buca de Beppo meal. It had to be just the pizza. It had to be something. Like, that's why I gained weight. So I need to... <clears throat> So I need to restrict as much as possible today because I'm a failure and all this stuff. And I just felt so shitty. And then I was mad at myself for even weighing myself because I had a feeling I gained weight and I did. And of course that freaked me out. So now I'm just like really struggling with urges to just restrict so much today and this whole week. And like, I wanna go to the gym today, but I don't know if that's motivated for my eating disorder or if it's like, do I really wanna go to the gym? I don't know, I feel too depressed to even get out of bed. I literally haven't left bed and it's like noon. And I haven't left bed, and I've been up since, like, 8 in the morning. I haven't, I haven't even left my room. Well, I did leave my room to weigh myself, but, you know, went straight back to my room. Anyway, I just feel really depressed today, and I just, it was just too much. This weekend was too much. Like, I had fun, but it was just, it was just an overload of challenges and being around people for three days straight was just so hard for me and I just feel mentally drained and all I literally all I want to do today is either eat everything or not eat anything at all so that's great and I'm really tempted to use laxatives So, if you guys have any advice on, <clears throat> like, what to do, I don't know, I don't know what I should do today, like, I literally don't feel like doing anything, I just want to sleep all day, that's what I want to do when I'm, when I'm depressed, I don't, I don't get insomnia, I get hypersomnia, where I just want to sleep all day, I just want to sleep all day, and either eat nothing or eat everything, so, yeah. And I don't know if I should go to the gym later. Like, I feel like that might help me because working out does help, like, a little bit with your mood. Just because the endorphins and stuff. But I feel like that just drives my eating disorder, too, at the same time. So, like, it helps my depression. But it doesn't really help my eating disorder. Going to the gym and working out. And I actually have made a positive change with the gym. So I used to, like, do hardcore workouts where I would, like, get on the treadmill and, like, ugh, gross. Like, ew. And then, like, do weights and stuff when they have a pool at the gym. And I used to swim every time that I would go. And I used to love that. And so I was, like, two weeks ago, I was, like, okay, no more doing treadmill or weights. I'm going to do swimming again because that's more enjoyable for me and I need to do that. And plus I can't track calories that I'm burning or whatever like you can on exercise machines. So I was like, okay, well, let's start swimming again. That might be better for me. So I've been doing that and I just have no motivation. Like, The first week I was like, yeah, I like this. This is great. But then my depression got really bad. And now I just literally don't want to do anything. Like I want to swim, but I don't, you know? It just seems like too much. So I don't know. And like yesterday I was um, super busy 
So I went to work from 11 a.m. to 5, and after the, uh, before that, I went to the grocery store to get groceries, and then I went straight to work. And then after work, I went straight home, and my family was home. We had dinner, we had spaghetti, and then I had to do homework for like a couple hours. So I was kept busy, but I was still depressed. So sometimes keeping busy doesn't even help me. So I'm like, what do I do? What do I do at this point? Like, I don't know. So that's kind of how my weekend went. Past like four days have went, I guess. Not very good, but I have challenged some fear foods, which is good, but I'm still compensating with restricting afterwards. So it's like, am I really challenging anything? You know what I mean? Like, how do you, okay, you guys, I need some help. How do you challenge a fear food and then just like not restrict afterwards? Like, how do you cope with those horrible guilty feelings and then just not go through with restricting? How do you do that? Like, that's where I'm struggling. Like, I can challenge fear foods, I can eat them. But then it's like the after effects are what I struggle with. Like, immediately I'm like, okay, I can try these fear foods, but only if I restrict my next meal or whatever. Or only if I restrict leading up to trying the fear food, you know? And it's like, that just defeats the purpose, you know? So, how do you guys do that? How do you challenge a fear food and not restrict afterwards? How do you push past that? Because I am really struggling with that and I just need some advice. So, leave that in the comments. <laughs> and also... I just want to give you guys a thank you. I don't know why I didn't start off the video thanking you guys. The thank you for getting me to 300 subscribers. Like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. I remember when I started, it was only like a year ago. And I don't post very much, so... I don't expect to have, you know, this many subscribers already. But thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button and watching these videos. I'm sorry they've been kind of crappy lately. I've just been feeling crappy lately, so... <laughs> I hope that you guys can forgive me and for these horrible quality videos, but... I don't know, I guess you guys seem to like them, so... <sighs> yeah, um... Anyway, that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about. I just want to tell you guys what's been going on lately um, and how I've been feeling. So I hope you guys are doing better than me and thank you guys for the support and yeah, just hang in there guys. I know it's hard, but this year has just been hard, okay? It's been hard on everybody, so don't beat yourself up if you're having problems. Please don't beat yourself up for it because Everybody, I probably 80% of the people, I don't, probably more than that, have had issues with this whole COVID stuff and, you know, the the protests going on and, and the election crap, all the political unrest. It's just been so much, so much crap this year. Like, literally, it won't stop. So, don't feel bad if you guys are struggling. I'm not saying it's an excuse to struggle more, but I'm just saying, like, I get you, you know? Like, I get you, and I get how you're feeling. It's hard. This year has been crazy hard. But you know what? We are almost done with this year, and this election is almost over. <sighs> Thank God, because I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of all this political crap and the debates. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of everybody fighting all the time. So I'm just excited for the election to be over I really don't even care honestly at this point I just want it to be over with and we got two more months left of the year and guys two more months until Christmas so keep that in mind that is a plus because Christmas makes everybody feel better come on Christmas tree lights holidays being around family and friends Christmas music Christmas movies you know that's just it's my favorite time of the year 
So think about that and just know that next year things will get better. Like this year has just been crazy, okay? Just try to think positively as much as you can. Try to think of something you're grateful for every day. That's what I've been trying to do. Just think about something that you're grateful for every day and write it down or or pray. Like I've been trying to pray more. I mean, I'm a Christian and I believe in God and it's okay if you don't, but I'm just throwing ideas out there for you guys. So do whatever it takes for you guys to just keep positive, okay? I know it's hard, but you guys got this and thank you for staying with me and being here for me and I'm sorry I've been an emotional wreck in this video, but that's me, so I hope you guys have a good week and I'll talk to you guys later.